Welcome to the Pathy demonstration of Smart Shoe project. So in this we have the features like obstacle detection with the help of ultrasonic sensor and a pedometer with the help of ADXL 335, uh, 345 uh, MEM sensor and also we are going to get the location with the help of GPS. So these three parameters will be sending to the blink app by using ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and the whole system run by the Arduino Nano which is a main controller which is uh, communicate between the input modules like SR04 ultrasonic sensor and MEM sensor and GPS module and output modules like buzzer whenever the obstacle is near to the sensor near to the shoe there is a below 30 centimeters then the buzzer will be indicated with audible alerts and output module of ESP8266 module so here we have driven the power with the help of this 3.7 volts 1000 mAh battery with boost converter so as the system need 5 volts maximum so minimum of 4.2 volts so in order to boost up the voltage we are making use of this boost converter along with it will act as a charger also just we need to connect the B type charger to this so that we can charge the battery and uh, once the battery is fully charged then continuous light indication on this charger and uh, this particular 5 volts will be given to the main Arduino, you know, Arduino Nano board through this breadboard so through the switch so this is the on off switch so we are providing 5 volts input here and throughout this board we are going to distributing the 5 volts to the input and output modules along with nano board also so here we have interface to the mm sensor h a4 a5 pins as it is the i square c communication based and uh, ultrasonic sr04 interface interface h pin number 2 and pin number 3 and the gps module at 8th pin and wi-fi module directly at 0 and 1 pin of our nano board so and the buzzer interface at 13th pin so coming to the board wide uh, description so here we have interface the buzzer board to the na uh, to the nano through this transistor board so as the nano can't drive the buzzer directly as it's required more current that's why we are making use of transistor so nano will switch on the transistor and the transistor will switch on the buzzer so which will get the 5 volts power supply directly from this breadboard and coming to the ESP8266 so which, we, uh, which is interface to the same nano board through this board because it's need only 3.3 volts so on this board we have placed a 1017 regulator so which will take 5 volts as input and output of 3.3 regulator out, uh, output and the GPS is directly this one is a GPS antenna and this is a processor so which will provide the latitude longitude values through serial communication to our nano board so here before switching on these kits we need to uh, enable the hotspot and also install the blink application in your phone so blink legacy application and change your hotspot name to project 4854 without any space without any capital letter and a password should be 129 so check twice before switching on the kit so after switching on the hotspot and data also and log into the blink keep uh, blink app uh, with the given credentials so here we can see that there is a red indication here so it's indicating that the device is offline now so now switch on the kit so after switching on the kit right we can see that the red mark was gone and whenever the obstacle is near to the shoe we can see the same distance is displaying on this gauge meter in the blink cap right and the steps are zero for steps counting purpose so in this manner the steps counting will be continuously incremented so as a walking style should be present into the MEMS sensor then the steps count will be continuously incremented in your blink cap also and when we demonstrate this project under the sky view then we will get the live location from the satellite vision to the gps there we will get the live location directly so here it will show you that so when we demo now it's showing the zero zero values as we are demonstrating in indoor so in indoor there will be no satellite vision for the gps so as we know that gps work under uh, trial iteration method whenever the three satellite vision is properly uh, get the signals to the GPS receiver then it will provide us the exactly PVT that is the position velocity time in the the position is going to be required for us to map the point on the Google, uh, Google Maps in the blink cap right